Member for Nelson Creston. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Now, sometimes it's hard to get everyone on board in this room, and that's okay. But I think I'm going to be able to get you all aboard today to celebrate the 125th anniversary of the SS Moye, a sternwheeler that used to sail across Kootenay Lake. On Sunday, I was able to attend the 125th uh, community celebration of the SS Moye, and I think Elizabeth Scarlett, the MC that evening, said it best. It takes a village. The room was packed with people that had worked hard to preserve, restore, and tell the history of the Sternwheeler. And I was invited by Mayor Susan Hewitt, who beforehand we took a tour of the Sternwheeler uh, before our dinner. The last time I was on the SS Moye, I was with Premier John Horgan. And we basically had to pry him off of the ship because as a history buff, it was not his first visit, um, and he was completely enthralled by Daniel, or Daniel Belanger, who was describing in great detail all of the work that had been done and that was still needed to restore and preserve the ship. After the delicious dinner, Robert Turner gave a very detailed presentation of the history of the ship and its importance in the Kootenays. Kit, Ashenhurst was a board member who led the project, and Sarah Sinclair is the current president of the Kootenay Lake Historical Society, and Gillian Froch is the immediate past president who worked tirelessly on the project as well. I would like to thank the entire SS Moye 125th committee for all of their work that they have done to preserve and to celebrate the ship. I had an absolutely wonderful time, and I would like to thank our whip, who encouraged me to attend, as his son was the RCMP officer Beggs, who was stationed in Caslow, and the community is grateful for his compassionate service. Thank you, Honourable Speaker.